intro tech. This this is always a challenging thing with battle tech. Your first game of battle tech with a friend or introducing battle tech to a couple of other players here. They've never played before. Maybe they know the narrative a little bit. Maybe they've played the video games and computer games on there, the digital aspect. Tabletop, new, ready to go. How do we handle intro tech? What do we look at? I'm going to offer some perspectives, and then I'm going to turn it over to you guys in the comments. Now, I love Total Warfare. I love mechs. I love tanks. I love vehicles. I love air support. I love the combination of it all. I would strip all that away on there. Um, even if it was an experienced war gamer, the, the last person that I introduced to Battletech, uh, he was, he's an excellent war gamer, historical miniatures war gamer, knows more systems than I've ever played. So it wasn't a question of the rules or grappling with um, different types of units and how they interlock. I wanted to give them the feeling of the narrative because that's what you're looking to do in intro tech. You're looking to introduce the rules in a friendly way. And maybe you leave a few pilot checks out. Um, you know, maybe you leave a few rules out. But also, you're, you're looking to get them involved in Battletech. You're looking to introduce them into Battletech. And, and mechs are king. Mechs are the narrative. Mechs are where it's at. Third, fourth, fifth game later, you can add in the other stuff for Total Warfare. So I would focus just on mechs. I would play on a hex map on there. You could talk me into playing in a traditional wargaming table, and that's how most of my Battletech games are, but hex maps have a place. They're solid. They're good. They work. Intro tech, I would go with a hex map for two reasons. One, it's going to keep the game smaller. It's going to keep the game very intimate in terms of engagement, but it's going to teach them the idea of, of facing and torso twisting and measuring range and um, level one, level two, level three, level four, and, and kind of all those aspects, the hex map literally breaks it down flawlessly for you. When you go over to a traditional wargaming table, you have to make those calculations in your mind or, or make an assessment on there or an agreement ahead of time. And, and that works, but that's more stuff on the rules side. We want to focus on the narrative side. So what to give, what to command? I would say a lance, four mechs on there. That, that's kind of the classic Battletech thing. I would go with a light, two mediums, and one heavy. I would leave the assault mech out for a moment because that, that could be a little bit intimidating with all that armor. Um, we want to encourage action. We want to encourage damage on there. I mean, no one likes to get hit in the head, headshot, turn one. But part of Battletech, the narrative, the fun, in my opinion, is the, these war machines taking massive amounts of damage on fire, sparking, bleeding, you know, um, various fluids and stuff like that. Just somehow warning lights going on everywhere in, in, as your mech helmet and everything. And just somehow you must continue the fight. And, and that victory of literally your mech is practically blown apart, but you're standing there victorious. So two medium mechs is going to give some mobility, a little bit of armor. A heavy mech is going to give that showpiece of, look, wow, look at all these weapons, and show you about heat. And uh, a light mech is going to be skirmishing, running around, and, and show you about that speed on there. For time's sake, I could see bringing it down to three mechs. If that was the case, I would do two mediums and one light. So now I'm going to turn it over to you guys. You've got your mech collection. Let's say it's, it's pretty decent, pretty sizable on there, enough for, for two different factions. What tech, what mechs would you pull? Um, would you play on a hex map? Oh, and I should say with the hex map, I would do just grasslands. Pockets of open space, pockets of cover, some light forests, some elevation. I would save the city tech for another type game because although it's fantastic, um, that's a completely new level of tactics on there. 